Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a highly requested video which is my skincare routine. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and let's get started with the video. I'm just going to use this QV Gentle Cleanser. Is soap free with vitamin E to gently cleanse sensitive skin because I have quite sensitive skin and then um, oh my gosh I'm looking naked and now I'm just gonna put a little dollop on my fingers and just rub oh that was a lot okay anyways just go like this on my face you're not supposed to go too rough on your skin because your skin is very delicate um, even with like makeup wipes and stuff because I didn't have any makeup on just then so I didn't have to use any makeup wipes but um, I've been told that using makeup wipes every day isn't very good because it's constant, you're constantly tugging and pulling on your skin so now that that is all scrubbed around. I rinse it off. Oh my god. Oh, it's still somewhere in my nose. I usually pat my face instead of doing wiping motions just because it's more gentle and delicate for your skin. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna use a face mask. This one is formula 10 0, 10 .0, pores B pure skin clap clap skin clarifying mud mask and it is a strawberry and yarrow. I have no idea what yarrow is. So this face mask just refines your skin, unclogs your pores and it just clarifies your skin's complexion and yeah just eliminates your impurities so i really like this face mask so i'm just gonna leave this mask on for about 10 minutes and then i'm gonna come back and take it off so it's been 10 minutes so i'm gonna start taking this face mask off <coughs> okay i'm giving up i'm just gonna deal with the leftovers This L'Oreal Sugar Scrub, um, it's brand new. It brightens, boosts, and radiates your skin. It's got nutrients, fine crystals of three different types of sugars to provide deep and gentle exfoliation. So this can also be used as a lip scrub as well as a skin scrub. Ooh, wait, I didn't expect it to be this color. Like a dark green texture. I thought it was gonna be like gold or something. Mm -hmm. So it just looks like that. That looks nice. Ooh. Ow. So this is my first time using a sugar scrub. It's kind of rough. I might put some water on it. Even though it says to do it dry, but it's really rough on my skin. I'm just doing it really gently. Oh. Okay, um, you're actually supposed to add warm water, avoiding the eye area. Oopsies. It smells so good. <coughs> so now that I've done that, my skin is actually really, really soft at the moment. Now that I've done the glow scrub, I'm going to use some toner. I vary between these two toners. So this one is a Solo Life Peptide Energy Activating Toner. I don't know what that says on the bottom because I can't read Chinese, but I assume it just translates what the English title says. Also, I have this light toning water with high moisture that I got from Muji in Melbourne, which is a really good shop. I feel like I'm supposed to use a cotton pad or something, but I'm just gonna use my fingers. And I just pat it down. So it really absorbs into my skin. Ring finger is best to do under your eyes because it's just the most gentle. 
Um, I'm gonna use this jade roller. And I just go in an upwards motion. Sometimes I do it with toner, but then sometimes I do it with moisturizer. Just depends on how I'm feeling. And then I use this little one, and it's just like a cooling kind of surface for my under eye area because it does get puffy in the mornings. Using jade rollers actually boosts circulation, um, especially under the eyes. I've also heard that it reduces wrinkles and it makes your, it helps your skin. Why do I blink so much? Um, it helps your skin to, for, how do you say it? Makes your skin firmer. I would highly recommend using a jade roller in your daily routine because in the long run, I think it's gonna really help your skin to not look sad. I'm just gonna go over my fine line area where I usually frown. Well, I don't usually frown, but like, you know what I mean. Now that I've finished using the jade roller, I'm gonna go in with the Sukin. Sukin, Sukin Super Greens Nutrient Rich Facial Moisturizer. So what this is, is a paraben-free moisturizer which has super greens, goji berry extracts to combine, oh wait, hang on, provide luscious hydration, promoting a healthy glow. So this is for normal to dry skin types and I would say that my skin is a little bit on the dry side. And yeah, it's just really lightweight. It's got kale extracts, um, acai, I don't really know how to say it, A-C-A-I and goji berry extracts. It's got rosehip, avocado, and jojoba oil, which locks in your moisture. So I just put my moisturizer on like that. Then I use two fingers, and I just use gentle circular motions, like so. And then with the leftovers, I just use it on my neck and the back of my hands, because I don't like wasting skin products. So then, if I'm feeling extra moisturous at night, sometimes I use this Elizabeth Arden moisturizer. It's a perpetual moisturizer and it has a 24 hours locked in moisture. And another one that I use is this eye cream. So this Sukin eye cream hydrates the sensitive area around the eyes and it has green coffee in it to reduce the appearance a, appearance of dark circles. The contents are pure ribose, rosehip and sunflower oil um, which reduces the fine lines around your eyes and yeah. It is natural, vegan, cruelty free and Australian made and so is Pretty sure this one is as well, the other Sukin one. And it applies pretty smoothly as well, so you don't have to put too much pressure under your eyes, which is really good. I'm just gonna use this jade roller to allow the moisturizer to go further into my skin. So, now I'm just gonna use, I don't really know if this works, but I'm just gonna use this Mario Badescu Rose water facial spray with aloe and herbs. Um, I remember this was really popular like last year, so I got it, but um, yeah, I just, I don't really know if it works. I feel like it might lock in some moisture or something, but so I'm just gonna oh, get really scared. And just let it, just let it sit for a little bit. And then sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I will use this Guess body lotion for my hands and my other stuff. Oh, um, yeah, so I put this on the back of my hands, sometimes on the elbows if they're feeling a bit dry. My elbows dry? Ew, okay, yes. So that is the end of my skincare routine. I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
Um, I can probably put some of the links to the products in the description box if you want to have a look and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.